I'm just not prepared to gain weight and or let go of restricting myself. What can I do? Sit with that for a little bit. So ask yourself, what would it take for you to be comfortable with a changing body? And I, you know, I always don't diminish that change is hard. Change is change, whether we know it's good or bad. Um, that's how our brain works. It doesn't necessarily categorize what's good or bad. It just can sense that there's something different. And then I always think about the messages that we get from our culture, right? We're taught that, you know, thin ideas glamorized and that um, having the strict control over your body is a mark of health. When we've come to learn the exact opposite, that a lot of times that disconnects us from our body and not listening to, to what it needs. And I think the more that you're able to express that, that helps you start to process what it is that has you hung up on that, what you might be potentially fearing. Um, again, as I said in another video, is it, is it a feeling or is it a fact? A lot of times there is a fear of facts around the change in the body that they feel like might hinder their performance or, or hinder their, or their relationship with their body when in truth it's a feeling in those feelings that we can learn to work through. I remember feeling this way of kind of the, the warning signs coming in that my relationship with my body was unhealthy and um, knowing that I was a, a train gonna crash at some point, but not being able to, to get there. If you're aware of this, is that even if you can't start to do it yourself, is that a sign that start looking being curious about who maybe you would go see or, or what where you would start um I think for me that's where it began I started just digging a little bit um even though I knew I wasn't ready to to take the step uh it was just the curiosity of, of trying to rule things out absolutely because curiosity again kind of keeps us connected sometimes we can have these thoughts and they're not really our own. They're just things that get kind of planted. And I, I would love that question. Do I know this to be true? And if I don't, where could I possibly find that facts or what could I experiment with? Because especially in the world of sport, everybody's an N equals one. We're always trying to kind of jump into um, knowledge and categories or following those that are very influential in sport. But I'm sure you can allude to this, Tina. How many athletes can we think of that probably do some things that were unorthodox but yet they perform at such a high mm -hmm. caliber so we can't mm -hmm. dismiss that yeah so true yeah thank you for that that's that's helpful